you bacteria have sex, we know you care. Dr. Rosie Redfield is not your typical microbiologist. I have no idea what's in this tube. She works at the University of British Columbia, but she didn't get there in a conventional way. I never really did decide to become a microbiologist. Initially, I decided I was going to go to medical school. And it was the 60s, and I turned on and tuned in and dropped out. No, molecular biology was much more fun. Dr. Redfield cares deeply about the love lives of her bacteria, but she found herself drawn into a controversy about a year ago, when NASA scientists announced they had made an exciting new discovery. This was something very different than what we thought was possible. So it was a very exciting result. The NASA scientists said that they had discovered an entirely new form of life on Earth. All the living organisms that we know about on Earth all come from the same common ancestor. But what if other forms of life also arose on Earth that we didn't know about? And maybe they're still living among us. NASA scientists thought they had found exactly that here at Mono Lake in California. The lake is loaded with arsenic, which is usually highly poisonous, but some bacteria were known to thrive there. In December 2010, they published a paper in the prestigious journal Science, revealing their startling results. And they isolated a strain of bacteria that they reported could use arsenic as food. And in particular, these researchers said that these bacteria put arsenic in the backbone of their DNA and their RNA. In other words, the bacteria used a different chemical toolkit to construct the basic building blocks of life. If true, it widens the possibility that there might be life on other planets as well. Wow, amazing result. NASA was really excited. They called press conferences. All the media picked it up. It was in all the newspapers, on all the newscasts. New research, exciting research. It's not space aliens, but it's like a new way of being alive. However, when scientists like Dr. Redfield were able to examine how NASA conducted their study, they were suspicious. Hang on. This is not high quality research at all. But the more dramatic your claim is, the better the evidence has to be. And in this case, the claim was extraordinary, and the evidence was not very good at all. The NASA paper was widely criticized, but the authors turned deaf ears. No, no, our experiments are okay. No, we didn't do anything wrong. Everything's fine. You guys are being overly critical. The problem was that when we learned more about the science, we said, wait, this is so surprising. Actually, we think it should be impossible. Dr. Redfield was so convinced the NASA result was false that she took it upon herself to redo the experiment. So I grew the bacteria in a bottle that contains a very high concentration of arsenic and purified the DNA and sent it off to the guys at Princeton who analyzed it and said, there is no arsenic in that DNA. That really confirmed that the result was wrong. So, as far as we know, all DNA is constructed in the same way. Our ideas of life haven't changed. So the textbooks are still right. There certainly could be life elsewhere in the universe, but we don't have any evidence for that yet.